Welcome to SA Company's Wildlife Wednesday. My name's Robbie, and I'm here to teach you about some of the coolest animals in this whole world. Hey guys, welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. I got something super cool to teach you guys about today. Let's see, can you guys tell me what is the largest freshwater turtle in North America? Hmm, that's a tough one. That doesn't include sea turtles because I'm talking freshwater turtles. I'll give you a little clue. They range through the panhandle in Florida all the way out to Texas and then north. And they are humongous. If you guys guessed the alligator snapping turtle, you're right, check it out. This is Jaws. This is our male alligator snapping turtle and he's about 180 pounds. How cool is that? These guys can get over 250 pounds. So he's got a little bit of growing to do. Hey, hey, and he's super strong. Check him out, man. Look at that mouth. Can you guys see in there? Do you guys see that little worm there? That is what's called a lure. They actually will be underwater and they live in rivers, fast flowing rivers, slow flowing rivers and swamps. And they'll lay on the bottom, they'll bury in the mud and they'll stick that head up. Now they'll open their mouth underwater and that little worm looking thing right there, their lure, they'll start wiggling it like a worm. Fish come up and they go whack, and they got a meal. How cool is that? They don't have to waste energy swimming around looking for meals. Meals come to them. You guys, alligator snapping turtles are so cool. Did you know that they have a bite force of up to 1,000 pounds per square inch? Jaws here, we were doing a show for Dr. Brady Barr and Jaws was one of the turtles that we did the bite force test with. And he bit down and it was 1,000 pounds per square inch. How cool is that? That could actually take my arm off. Look at the size of his mouth. We're gonna show you something cool right now. I want you guys to try this at home. Grab one of those big honey crisp apples at the grocery store, bring it home, and I want you to take a bite out of that as fast as you can, as hard as you can. And let's see what kind of bite you take out of an apple, what kind of damage you do. I'm gonna bring Chris in here. He's gonna show you what Jaws is capable of. You guys, check this out. see that? Whoo, buddy. Man, I would hate to be on the receiving end of that bite. You guys want to know another fun fact about alligator snapping turtles? These guys spend 90% of their lives, the males, underwater. That means they're just hanging out, just eating. They're not really great swimmers, but they can swim a little bit. Instead of swimming, they more or less crawl across the bottom, just walk across the bottom. And then when they're out of breath, they'll stick their head up. So just this little nose part is out of the water. And they get a nice big breath. They'll stay there till they sense something danger or else they've filled their lungs up with air and they want to go on the move again. They'll pull under and start moving. Now males, will spend a majority of their life underwater. Females will come up out of the water to lay their eggs. They'll venture off about 50 yards from the edge of the water so that flooding doesn't drown out the eggs. And they breed in the spring, like I said, and they take anywhere up to 150 days to hatch. Now, 
Temperature has a lot to do with determining the sex of the turtle. Higher temperatures means more males. Lower temperatures means more females. They lay anywhere from 10 to 50 eggs in that nest. How cool is that? Another cool thing about alligator snapping turtles, they can live up to 200 years. Could you imagine being on this planet for 200 years? But it's more commonly that they live between 80 and 100 years. Alligator snapping turtles were once hunted so much for food and for the shells that they were in big trouble here in the United States. But now we've got laws that protect the turtles. Thank God, huh, buddy? Just to ensure that these guys will be on the planet for a long, long time because they've already been here a long time and we want to make sure we keep them around. You guys, come here. I want to show you something cool. Look at their mouths. If you notice, turtles don't have teeth. They have that big beak. It's like a bird's beak. And with all that biting pressure, they can actually just grab something, hold on, and then they shake their head, pull their head, and whatever's in their mouth stays in their mouth. Now, when you're looking for turtles, the way I like to find these guys is because we have them in one of our alligator crocodile ponds. And what I do is I'll walk around in there and I can feel the shell with my feet. The top of the shell will be out of the mud, the rest of the turtles down in the mud. And what I do is reach down when I find the shell and I'll look for these three ridges here. If you look, the ridges point back. They got points that go this way. So what I do is I'll go down here, feel, feel the ridges, and I go against the ridge, I find the middle ridge, and I run my hand up and curl my fingers right at the edge of the shell. And that way, I'll run the other hand down here to the butt, and I can wrap around the shell there, and I can pick him up. And that's safe for me and for the turtle. The turtle can't bite me because his head is so big, and it gets in the way between my hand and his head. <laughs> so that's one way to stay safe. These guys also have a close relative, which is the common snapping turtle. Now, the common snapping turtle doesn't have these three big ridges and their head is not as large as this. They've got a longer neck and they're a lot more hyper. You guys have seen how they shoot out and try to bite everything. Well, thank God these guys aren't that bad. But there you have it, another Wildlife Wednesday. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and check us out on YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. We love you. Get swamped and share your passion.